guys, so I guess my signature look on this channel is going to be no makeup, curly hair, and my beanie because it seems every time I go to Mr. Don't Make a Video, I'm either just going off to work or have a fussy baby. But I promise I will make content with me actually full glam. So today's video is going to be my final thoughts on the LA Insta News set that I picked up as well as a lip collection kind of video because I just, I kind of figured since I'm decluttering a bunch, I'm like not so much decluttering because I don't have really a big makeup collection to boot, but my family and some of my friends are notorious so around the holidays or whenever to get me sets like, like this or whatever. So, with that being said, we're going to jump into my final thoughts on the LA Colors Insulate Nudes kind of set. We're going to go in order. Eyeshadows. Not a fan. I actually have tried attempting, I mean, they swatch, don't get me wrong. They swatch pretty good. But I mean, going on the eyes, you have to cake this crap on. It's not like some of the other ones that I've tried that you, it's like a one swipe or two. Like, no, you have to sit there four or five passes before you even get a hint of color. So really, not a fan. Now, the blush highlighted contour palette. I've barely dipped into the blush and the highlighted contour I barely dipped into. This will be kind of those sitting around the house days thing. So, yeah, this is something I would definitely use again. Lipstick. Where did you go? That's not the right one. The lippy stick. Yes, I would. Yeah, I actually would use this again because it's a beautiful color. It lasts a while. And it's just it's overall great. Eyeliner. Just like the matte. Literally, you have to cake this on for it to work. It does not last a while. So that's another thing. My probably, probably these two things are definitely I won't use again. Now the mascara, on the other hand, I love it. I actually like this mascara. It turns my lashes black. And I, in fact, is I'm gonna try to wake up early enough for work so that I work it overnight to. Glam, and I will put a picture up on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Riley, and go, ma'am. All right. Now that much hot. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. And if that's work for you, great. But for me, it's just it doesn't do what I need it to do. So on to the lip collection. Like I said, I don't have a majorly huge lip collection. But I have kind of a matte, you'll notice, I have a matte obsession. Matte is like my go-to favorite thing. So these two, or say I have three of this brand. It is the Partier Lip Gloss from Wish. And I don't, not, some stuff on Wish is hit, some put on, put on, with stuff on Wish is missed. These three are a perfect hit. Because I literally, I work in a convenience store. I am a supervisor. So I put a, I am there. I think my shortest shift to date has been six hours. But can you not tell me? Those colors are gorgeous. And I mean, they're not matte. Some of those, but I mattify them. And they, they still, either way, they are pretty. Alright, on to, I'm trying to keep brands together, then on to LA Colors. This is actually a product by LA Colors that I love, and it is their LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is obviously, with me being blonde, I love going nude with blonde, when I'm blonde. And so, I mean, these, they do dry down very, 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 very matte. They look gorgeous. And I mean, I absolutely, I love them. So there's the three wish. 
And then there's the two LA color masks. And I actually have a couple of pictures of Instagram. Are you telling them about it? Yeah, my little beauty guru. All right, next we have two of the Wet n Wild Mega Step Lip Glosses. These aren't so much I would wear by my by themselves versus. I will actually, I actually layer these with some of the Wish, or if I don't want the matte to be so matte that day, I will layer it on top of a matte. Because like you said, these aren't going to be like swatchy perfect, but, oh come on. They're still kind of shimmery, but they're pretty. Next. Oh, sorry, which one is this one? Especially... Actually, lip balm. I forgot what brand this is because I've used it so much. I, I want to say it's another. Oh, it is. Okay. It's another LA Colors matte. But this one is my Barbie Pink. This is my Barbie Pink liquid matte. Now tell me. Yeah, it's not a perfect swatch because like that one I've actually used. But it's a gorgeous pink. Alright, my lips, this lipstick is actually my obsession for fall. It is the freaking Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Spice. Perfect fall color. Perfect, perfect, perfect fall color. This one, this is actually another Wish Buy. And this is called the Z by These Good Cosmetics. Like, this one's not so much everyday. This is sounding so much about wanting, like, a different look. It is literally, that one kind of swatch, kind of runny, a dark-ass purple. Excuse my French. Very, very dark purple. All right. Next. Oh, was it my other Z Good? I forgot. I had two of these. This is the lighter version. Or the lighter version of that first Z Goods. I mean, they're all gorgeous. As you can see. All right. This one I'm not going to swatch because it's a runny one. Is the Kiss New York Professional kind of brown lip gloss. We've got my... This one I know. is the, This one's called Peach Buff. By, I, I want to say Maybelline, but don't correct me. If you recognize the packaging, then yes. I don't like, this is my favorite nude that I actually own. Because it may look peachy, kind of. But, I mean, once I do full glam, it looks nude. Another wish that I'm not going to do is this is the Egg, Egg Fake Color Castle in pink. We've got this. I actually got on Influencer, and this is my favorite. That was my favorite nude lipstick. This is my favorite nude gloss, and this actually dries matte, which is amazing. And I love it, love it, love it. And I, I guess I got it from one of, the, one of the box boxes. But damn, color, hello, color. That is a gorgeous color. Next is, this is another actual wish, because I've been trying to do wish dupes. This one is a ma magical halo long lasting. Another kind of purple. I think I was in a purple phase for a bit. That one right there. I mean, I think I was in a purple phase for a bit, but I'm kind of out of it. Now that I went back blonde, I'm kind of out of it. My red. This one is a Revlon Red in the shade HD875. Speaks, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right there. Speaks for itself. It's a gorgeous. Now on to my last three. This one I really, these two actually came in the mystery box, which I will explain why I did not film that video at the end of this one. White really doesn't show up. We'll use it kind of as a gloss. This one is a Moolah. It's called Moolah. It's kind of a darker, darker nude. A dupe of my favorite nude. And this one was another one in there. 
It is by the stain Styly Style. And it is kind of a darker pink. And I really, on this one, to be perfectly honest, I don't like the wand. But, I mean, for its purpose, it's great. Now, I do have... I have these three. It is lip pencils. Actually, I have five of them, but one is in my bathroom, and I just don't get up to get it. And I actually have a layer. This is a dark red, a raspberry ice, and then an ore. And then this one is just kind of one that I'd put under my nudes. So that, like I said, is pretty much my lipstick collection. Like I said, I'm going earlier. I'm going to grow it. I'm going to advance it. Like right now, no lie. All of my makeup is this. This is my palette, which is it's kind of my palettes are busting out of this one. All my kind of generic is in here. My lippies, I actually have a setup going for those. My newest obsession, which I'm playing with, and my newest eyeshadow palette. And I mean, I've got all my brushes and stuff too. So like I said, I'm growing this collection. This It's going to take me a little bit, but I'm going to grow it. On to the mystery box. Hugest disappointment, I will say. Listing said beauty related, whatever. Thinking, okay, it's actually going to be fairly decent. I already threw the box away, but literally, the box was the size of my smaller makeup bag. It, it came with 20 items, but literally, white lipstick, and it came with kids' makeup, it came with kitty makeup, it came with, one of the nail polish was actually busted open. They sent me another one, but I'm thinking, okay, maybe for the mistake, they would do something more. I mean, overall, I was like, I was highly disappointed with the beauty box, with the mystery box. And I just don't feel like I can enthusiastically kind of film a video about it when I am not truly excited about it myself. So that is going to be it for this video. Like I said, the, hopefully the next video I film will be, I will be in full glam and everything else. I want to do Vlogmas. Cross my fingers, I will be able to do Vlogmas this year. Because I said that last year and things just kind of got chaotic and crazy and whatever. So leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see 25 days of Vlogmas and I will even do my decorations and everything else. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See y'all next time. Bye.